Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on November 27th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and as well earthquakes for the last 24 hours. Looking at the last 48 hours of our sun, 304 angstroms, we do have a bright region that ejected quite a large plasma filament. And that is what is going to give us possibly a glancing blow. As that was almost in an earth facing direction. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming imagery, bright region on the left there. I'm going to be watching for some flare activity. And as well, I'm going to be watching this large plasma filament that is heading towards our planet, most likely going to give a glancing blow. As I said, looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, not much to talk about. Still a pretty quiet sun. No major events thwarted towards our planet today. Another close look at that large plasma filament whip. Right here is where it took off from. And it kind of headed in a northward and towards us direction. Looking at multi-spectrum here take a moment to thank everybody for tuning in today. I hope you enjoy today, today's update and as well the daily updates that I try to put out. Don't forget to hit that like button and thank Solar Dynamics Observatory for all of these images as well put together here with daily events worldwide. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral, you can see that CME filament eruption coronal mass ejection and you can see it's going to give a glancing blow our planet is the little yellow one on the right hand side and heading right at venus solar x-ray flux remains in the b-class range geomagnetic activity remains low real-time solar wind we just saw a small spike here up to about 340 kilometers per second after streaming down to 300 kilometers per second. And you can see the temperatures were dropping just ahead of that small spike. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today, a power of 23, a very healthy energy flowing across our planet right now, a power of 37 and a quality of 11.11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Power 25. Looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world, pretty quiet considering, but a lot of minor earthquakes rumbles through California are a little bit concerning recently. We're going to start out here with the largest earthquakes through Papua New Guinea, some active volcanoes throughout the region, but they see, saw two 5.4s and a 5.3, as well as Solomon Islands here with a 4.6, the, the yeah, Sur volcano just was, uh, their alert level was raised. 5.2 there, Philippines. 4.0 earthquake here in Fakwar, Afghanistan, 218 kilometer depth. 4.4 in Greece, 21 kilometer depth. South America, South Sandwich Islands, seeing a 4.9. Quite a bit of activity heading through Chile t today. 4.8, Velinar, and as well 4.7 here, San Antonio de los Cobros, 178 kilometer depth. Northward up into Peru, just south of Sabancaya Volcano, 4.2 there. Minor activity through the Dominican and Puerto Rico there, largest being 3.6. And then El Indio, Texas, with a 3.2 and up into White City and yeah, White City, New Mexico. Minor earthquakes is where, but still not much to talk about. But these California earthquakes are all surrounding the basin here. We did report a 4.0 and a 3.5 in Trinidad, California. So that's off the coast. 2.5 there, Stanley, Idaho. 
minor earthquakes through Alaska. We'll have a quick look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. And not much to talk about recently. There hasn't been any major earthquake to talk about. La Palma seems to be fuming yet again under a lot of pressure. A lot of activity through South America along the coast and up into Central America. North America as well. A lot of resonant earthquakes through Mexico and up into Cali. i give you a current look here of the satellite imagery overlooking North America. Pretty big low pressure system heading through the Atlantic provinces right now and as well a low pressure moving through Ontario. This is all snow falling through uh, south and southwestern Ontario and down into uni the United States. And then we've got this continual rain system that's going to bring up to 80 to 100 millimeters of rain over the next few days. So British Columbia is still on watch, flood watch, flood alert. The atmospheric rivers continue. And this is something I brought up a few years ago that these would be prominent and stronger with packing a lot more moisture. And now it's happening. And look at the size of these systems. Very vigorous and erratic northern jet stream. That's all I can say. And it's, it's evident that something is up. Something is wrong with our jet stream right now. And I think it has a lot to do with our North Pole. Climate change is real. Things are changing. Our climates are changing. Have a look here at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and daily events worldwide. Looking at that low-pressure system moving through Ontario and then another one, Alberta Clipper moving in later in the week, Tuesday into Wednesday. And then another system moving in long-range Thursday into Friday. Going to be warm ahead of it, so there's going to be a lot of rain. And most of northern Ontario will stay cold. So a lot of snow heading through Canada this week as we have a very big low pressure system penetrating the coastline right now. And it's going to be spinning around through Hudson Bay, funneling down a lot of cold temperatures. Big system heading into Alaska this week as well. Heavy snowfall, which I forecasted last daily do. And then overlooking the Atlantic here, watch for this big system to head through the Atlantic provinces, most likely packing a lot of moisture yet again. So the atmospheric river in each ocean, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, it's happening. These systems are getting bigger, more organized. They're joining forces. Overlooking Europe, continual low pressure system is moving through the week and Cold temperatures will be coming down in behind that. Lots of snow, higher elevations through Greece and Turkey this week. Low pressure system moving into northern India, coming out of the Indian Ocean. Pretty dry across most of southeastern Asia. Big high pressure ridge keeping things cold and dry. Planted right over the Tibetan Plateau. Watch for that to stick around for a while. And then overlooking the West Pacific. And look at the size of these systems. Possible tropical system being sucked up into this large atmospheric river. And that's going to be heading towards Easter Russia. So even Russia is not being spared the atmospheric rivers. Overlooking Australia, a lot of coastal rain moving in this week. Daily evaporation rains and then a system heading through Brisbane. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then overlooking the Pacific, Hawaii, you do have a lot of rain heading towards you in the long range forecast here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then 
the Pacific Ocean right now is just vigorous. Look at the size of these systems. I've been documenting now for four years, and I haven't seen them get this big, so organized. So heads up world, as we are on the verge of a 400 to possibly 600 year cycle, and we're seeing all of the evident changes that are happening across the world. I'm gonna leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the major low pressure systems, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. Atmospheric rivers in both oceans. I've been documenting for a while. Please share this channel with all your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Winter is a coming. Stay warm. Bye-bye. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.